Hey guys, it's the Schnag here. Today we've got a mudfish tutorial for you. This is going to help you play with your friends overseas on Escape from Tarkov. Let's have a look at it. I've had this problem for quite a while now, where I live on the Gold Coast, Queensland of Australia, and the buddy that I want to play with lives in Canmore, Alberta in Canada. The ping between us is 250. Unplayable. We get disconnected every single time. That was before we found mudfish. So let's have a look at it. First, what you want to do is open Mudfish, type Mudfish into your browser. Mudfish.net, go to the download section up the top left. Choose the specific download for you, for your computer or laptop. Minus 64 bit. Once it's finished, open it up and install. Once that's installed, let's go to our desktop and open up the Mudfish launcher. I've got an account already. So you create an account and then pay for the minimum balance, which is $3. That'll last you months, depending on how much you play. The first thing that we need to do is go to item configuration and select the game that we're going to be using this on. For this video, it's going to be EFT. That's the only game that I've used, the only game that I've needed it for. Select Escape from Tarkov. Choose the best server between you and the second party being your buddy. For me and for my friend Zeon, it's Japan. Dead in the middle between the both of us. So equip this item. Now we have the item configuration sorted for Escape from Tarkov on server location Japan. The next step is going to be node configuration. For this, I use multipath mode. You can use advanced if you want or basic, but for the sake of this video, Multipath mode, in my experience, is the best. I have found two nodes that work really well together. For you and your buddy, if your buddy wants to reduce his ping as well, and you found two really good nodes, give him these nodes, but swap them around. So G Core would be first, Secure Net would be second. If you want to start off and just give it a test run, you're unsure about the nodes, go to Basic mode, and then choose Auto Selection. Once that's done, Hit connect, it'll bring up the round trip time, which is real time round trip time, which is the ping. So it's auto selected nodes for us. And we've managed to find a good node because the, the ping is down to 127. So once you've found a good node, the ping is where you want it to be. You want to scroll down to item configuration, go to this cog here, and then scroll down to today's path. Um, this will show you the nodes that it's running through. And take note of these good nodes. Write them down somewhere or store them in your whitelist. Go to nodes, whitelist, type them in. These nodes are good. They'll be safe. You can use them again in the future. Anyway, take note of that. For me, the best nodes are SecureNet1, GCollabs. So I keep it at that. Now let's go have a look at what the ping is in Escape from Tarkov without Mudfish on. As you can see, it's 240, 250 at the moment without Mudfish. Let's get out of this, go back to Mudfish. Once your nodes are set up, boom, hit connect. Check to make sure that the ping is right. 128, that's good. That's as good as it gets for me. 128, let's go back, launch EFT again, and check the nodes now. Nodes for Japan, 130. All right, as a test, I'll launch the game up. So apply this now to Japan server. I'll launch the game up, and we'll see what the in-game in ping is. As you can see, the ping up the top right corner, 130, 140, this is playable. This will generally stay pretty consistent. All right, team, that's the video. If you have any questions around Mudfish, let me know in the comments section. If you want me to do a full tutorial on Mudfish, also let me know. If you like the video, like the video. If you dislike the video, dislike the video, and leave some banter in the comments section.
Yes, yes.